Following React's best practices, we want to make components as reusable as can. And that means that components need to be able to handle several types of variations. I'm going to show you of a way of having strongly typed props and have them easily match with whatever styles we want to give it. Okay, so I'm going to create a button component here quickly. Okay, this is going to be a function component and it's going to return the children inside of a button. Children. Okay, I'm going to quickly use it. Button. Hello. There you go. Um, so I'm going to define extra props, button props. And one of the props I want is a size prop. So let's type that the sizes first. So button sizes is going to be a union type of just small and big. Keep it really simple. So I'm going to take an optional prop that's going to be the size. And it's going to be of the type button sizes. Um, let's say that this is going to take bottom props, take the size, give it a default. And now what I want to do with this size is actually just pick the right CSS property. So I'm going to define a record of the sizes and the CSS properties that I want to give it. So const size record is going to be a record record and the keys is going to be the bottom sizes and the values are going to be css react css property okay intellisense is going to tell me that i need a big and a small property so that's very helpful and i'm going to that the big one is going to have a padding of one rem two rem and the small one is going to have a padding of five of five rem one rem okay what i'm going to do now is apply the style to the actual button so i'm going to spread this out size record size okay and there you have it. I'm going to create another one that's going to be size big. And there you have the big, big one. Okay, let's just create styles for now. Let's just create variants. So type button variant. It's going to be a primary and a ghost one. Okay, so let's do the same thing. Variant it's going to be optional. Button variant. I'm going to define the default value here. The variant. It's going to be ghost. Okay. And let's now create the variant record. Okay. Record button variant and React CSS property. So I want a ghost and a primary one. So the ghost is going to have just I'm going to quickly copy paste color order of one px and the color. And it's going to have a background color for transparent. The primary one is going to have a background of this nice red it's going to have color white and it's going to have the same border okay so let's spread this out into the style variant record with the variant key okay oh look at that both turned into ghost so 
I'm gonna create a big with the variant that's primary, so it should look red. Okay, that's it. So you can see how this record utility type is really making it easy for me to map a union type into whatever I wanted. In this case, is CSS properties, but this can be an object with various various CSS properties or actually whatever you want to give it. It could be a record of props, of a union type and icons, for example. That's it. I'm sure this will come in very handy. I know I use it all the time. If you have any comments or suggestions, please share them on the comment section. Until next time.